Welcome to the channel. I got a big day. Scheduled, I think. I don't know. Oh, look at this mask, guys. I gotta get everything out of here, including that dryer. So, I don't know if it'll fit through there. I'll get my tape measure. If I gotta take the door off, I gotta take the door off. Or maybe I can take it in pieces. I don't know. I have. I need to sweep this floor. I need to douse it with water, scrub it with bleach water. <sighs> but overall, not too much damage. Uh, actually, the one hole in the screen there, I did that. So, I'm just amazed they did not destroy that screen. That just blows my mind because I watched them. I watched them scratching on that. <sighs> Let me come on out. Millie has been a complete nightmare she just ever since she got let out of the kennel all she wants to do is run but there's nothing I can do about it she's back there now alright guys I got all the styrofoam off I got that repaired down there where the piece of uh, that strip was hanging now I gotta get find see what I got to fill in that door for that hole was and look at you guys they are loving it over in here I mean they are loving it you guys are having a good old time ain't you you got a lot of room in there a lot of room to run yeah there's Willie you know what you guys are looking better already yeah you are I knew you would all right guys I'm gonna get busy on that probably the next couple videos are gonna be finishing this deck area putting up a fence you're gonna see what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna spill the beans you just know I'm putting up a fence there'll be more gravel involved we're gonna get busy on it let's go what are you doing running around hooting and hollering what they do to you in the surgery because you all you've done is run around and where is Tilly you lured her out of here, and now I can't find her. Where you at, Tilly? Oh, she's a bad influence on Tilly. Yeah, we see you over there. All right, I took the door off. There's plenty of room there. This should go through there, no problem. Uh, uh, I'm kind of thinking of cutting that out, but the door's... The door's built to fit that, but I don't know. We can adjust the door. Nah, we're just going to leave it for now. It's fine. But, actually, that's probably good that that's on there. Keep mice and stuff from crawling in easy. Of course, they can get in here easy. All right, so the door's off. While it's off, I'll repair the bottom of it. I got to see. I don't think I have any more of that T111. I know I don't, but... Oh, look at this junk. I'm going to take the freezer after I clean it thoroughly. And I'm moving it back into the office for the summer. Doesn't need to be out here where there's heat. Or it'll be working hard. I hadn't even looked into this thing for four months. And I was praying that it was still good. And it's good. Everything's still frozen in there. It's a good little freezer. So that's good because there's a lot of stuff in there. All right. I ain't got time to talk to you guys, man. Let's go. If you wonder why this is in here, uh, if you didn't, if you're new to the channel, my dryer went out a few months ago and I had to go buy a new one. This thing's at least 30 years old. And it was my fault. I killed it, wired it wrong. Uh, let's get it out of here and put it to the junk pile. Watch out, Tilly. Why didn't I do this before? Maybe I was too lazy to take the door off. Be 
be in there. I know you want to come in here and snarfle some of that puppy food that's laying around. out of that dirt got puppy juice and everything else in there I better get the rake and the scoop shovel and dig some of that out of there all right I don't know how good the light is in here uh, I got a layer of soil scraped off of there and over there got that cleaned up because there's nasty stuff in there and I even lysoled the dirt man I don't know if you can lysol dirt <laughs> but I did yeah and uh we still got plans for these corners guys i ain't telling you what it is because i never got to finish this thing and so there's still a lot of work to do inside here i still got to do something here water can come straight down uh yeah there's work to do yet and i'm not worried about that foam because that's going to be covered you'll see you'll see i've already bought the stuff last year that what i'm doing in these corners i already got it still in the box up in the loft you're gonna have to wait all right all that's left to do is these little odds and ends here the paint that I've been dealing with finally I just brought it over on this side I need to wipe wipe this down real good and bring it in the house uh, since this is in the way and I want to get it in there where it's you know in the air conditioning for the summer so I gotta get all that junk off top Get the rest of this stuff out of here and i do need to repair this corner that's if i can remember i'll do that today all right got it all completely cleaned out minus the junk i set up in the windowsills but i'm gonna wait till they bring in the shaves over there at the church so i can use my blower and get every last bit of dust out of here then i'm gonna go over it with some hot bleachy bleachy soapy hot bleachy mop water a couple of times especially in that area right there you can see where the puppies did the business and did all their playing because look in here compared to here see so once that's done i'm gonna bring that carpet back in here layer down get my table my benches and all that good stuff whatnot and what have you and i'm gonna have my patio back uh they destroyed that bottom of that blind, but I could still use it because it was longer. Uh, it's a little frayed at the bottom. Thank God for the camera system because I got to watch every move them little buggers ever made. And when I seen them start doing something, I'd come in here and stop them. You can see they chewed on my windowsill a little bit, but overall, not much damage. I mean, there's not a lot they could hurt in here. But yeah, if they were in here a little longer, they would have started chewing on wood. And that's not fun to replace or fix in here. So, uh, basically what's left to do in here is trim around the doors. i got to fix that corner. Maybe put some trim there. I don't know what I'll do. Like I said, this is a patio, but I still want it to look nice. got to trim that foam. I'm really happy how these doors went in. I mean, they both shut beautiful. They're airtight. They had the really good doors, and they happened to be the ones opening the way that I wanted them to open. Uh, and those are hard to find, them left-hand open ones. And uh, this thing seems to be working better now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But in the winter, when it was cold, if your finger was cold, you couldn't get that to work. But we're going to leave it on for now. It's, it's okay. I like it. So, all right, man, we're going to be back in here by the end of this video. Yeah. And I got some new lights, uh, LEDs that I'm, I don't know if I'll get to that today, that I want to hang somewhere, I don't know, around the tops or whatever. We'll see. It's 100 feet, I think I got. Should go far. 
Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. I see myself hitting that. So we got some Mr. Clean in here. I'm gonna soak this area good. Good. Get on there. That big old bubble. My Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Or I can just wait till it floods again. That'll clean it, won't it? Get in there and soak. Mmm, smells good. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. That bubble's still there. I like this stuff. It smells good too. I'm gonna be sitting in here tonight, right there at my cocktail table, drinking a cocktail. You watch, there'll be a shark tonight. You watch, it won't be on this video, but it's gonna happen. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Worst part is, I gotta dig all that stuff out of the shed to get the table out. But if I get the table and chairs out, that gives me a lot more room in the shed. <laughs> ah, so, I, you know, I win either way. Ah, that's about all the water. Boy, it sucked all that up. Ah, that should be enough. And it says on the bottle, no need to rinse. I like that. This area was blocked off from the puppies. This shouldn't be that bad. I'm gonna give it a good swatting. I don't think I've ever made a mopping video before. Here it is. Sorry guys, I know your wife's going to see this and go, you need to get in there and mop the floor because that dog man, I've seen he mops the floor. Why don't you be more like dog man and mop the floor? Sorry guys. I live alone. I gotta do it. Good for the abs. No need to rinse. We're gonna have to hit this area a couple times. Put some, put some grease into it. No need to rinse. This stuff's actually doing great. Tell you what it is when I get the next bucket full. <sighs> no need to rinse. Just 
styrofoam fell out of the window. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna let that dry. Shouldn't take long. It's windy. Put the pan on. Go get me another princess mop out. Go get me another clean bucket. Y'all never look in the right spot. I'm up here, man. Boy, that's a workout. And I already see it drying. Don't eat the rinse. Miss Tilly, there's no scraps left in here. Can't you see it's all clean? Are you going to help me cut this piece of wood for the door? Okay. Alrighty. Drawing out. It's very windy, guys. Very windy as usual. Cut this out so I can get the floor up. I got sawhorse places in there. Oh, you little hooligan. back up got the carpet down y'all remember that from the big flood uh, I did hang that up after the flood and I rinsed it out with the hose did not smell it doesn't smell now so it's fine that's what these things are made for to get wet now the wrinkles will come out as I walk on it put some furniture down like it did last time or we get a flood then it'll go down hopefully that don't happen anymore all right, now the fun part. Let me take you and show you what's going to be the fun part. Tilly is obsessed with coming in here. About never got her out. And that's what that looks like. I'll paint it to match. It's not the same T111. Boy, this thing is dirty. Let me wipe this lens, guys. But it'll do. All right. Very windy today. Look at you too. The only reason you're there is because there's spilled puppy food and you're waiting for it to work your way. Oh, oh man. <sighs> I gotta get this table out and those two chairs. Shouldn't be too hard, I hope. But I gotta get all that crap off of it. Where am I gonna put that crap? Gotta get that air compressor out of here and all this junk but it's going in there now now okay I've been out there for several hours this morning the screen patio was full of dog food everywhere poop it stunk it was dirty it was a mess had clutter everywhere now Let's go take a look at what I did today.
looking snazzy, huh? It'll look cooler at night. And when all these blinds are down, and I got my, I got to get some batteries for my lanterns. Then I'm gonna put the LED lights up. But remember, this room ain't finished. There's more to go. I've got something really cool for these corners. It's gonna blow you away. And I'm gonna get on it this week. Cause that looks terrible. Let's go outside, take a look. It is very windy today. Had stuff blowing everywhere. I got that all raked up. All the dog toys and dog junk picked up. And look at this, man. I can just look right out the windows and smell my garden and look at it. Pretty nice. All right. Never again will there be puppies in this room. I will be enjoying this tonight. I'll probably put out a short. It's pretty cool at night out here. And this is the perfect weather to enjoy it. And I'm not, look at that. Look at that zoomers. I like them guys. Yeah. They're, they're sucking in water from the rear. And then they're puking it out. I like it. Alright. Now uh, you go. You go. Come on. Wah! Wah! <laughs> Then my beer bottle fountain. Got the little LED light in there. I had to do a lot of cleanup on these, man. They got a lot of dirt and stuff in them. And I got two chairs that match this. I just, it's too much in here. I, this, is, this is for me. If I get company, we can easily bring in two more chairs. Otherwise, I got plenty of patios for them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I worked hard today. It's about three o'clock. I've been out here since eight. So it was a lot of work. I ended up mopping this floor four times. Did the Mr. Clean, then I did solid bleach water, then Mr. Clean again, then another hit it again with bleach because it was bad. Now this stuff here, I thought it was like ground in poop, but that's actually silicone. I don't know, I, I think I remember stepping on a tube of silicone or something, but it's all gonna be covered in here. I got a plan for that. I may just get a bigger rug, I don't know. Happy trails. Good morning, Miss Kelly. You got a little more pep in your step today, yeah? You had breakfast? Yeah. She's a good girl. Follows me everywhere I go. I uh, wormed her yesterday. Don't see any ticks on her. Still can't. I mean, I'm getting closer to her. She's come around a whole lot from when she was first came here. You come on with me. Come on. Let's go do some lumber. Just got back with my load of lumber. She didn't try to follow me. She just stayed right here. All right. You coming? Yeah, she's running around, wagging her tail now. She wasn't doing that. I knew she'd come around in a couple days. All right. Welcome to Dogman Homestead. I believe this is about episode 15 of this build. I just picked up another load of lumber. I hurt my wallet. And, uh, we're going to try to finish this framing today and get everything ready for the roof. I ain't going to promise nothing. We'll see how the video ends, but we'll see how far I get. All right. Let's get busy. All right, guys. I'm going to put together this uh, short wall that goes up top here. Let me get the nail gun ready. I screwed a board, the end board to the 2x4 so I don't have to fight that thing while I'm putting this one on. <laughs> and I have been doing nothing but fighting it. This is like the sixth take of this clip. Hopefully this will be the last one. Alright. 
getting this up there. Follow my marks. And for this one, I'm going uh, 24 on center. You can see this. I do mute that a little bit when the air compressor kicks on if y'all haven't noticed because I sure don't like to hear it in a video. I was born at night, but not last night. Big high spot right there, this foundation. You know, I'm on there. Well, I need you. Thank you. I put about six drops of tooling oil in there. I try to do that every, every time I use one, but I might have forgot yesterday. Problem with that anything new with sticking. But I ain't buying a new one. Alright, let me uh, flip this dude over and I'll come back. Alright guys, now I'm gonna go up there. Here's the wall that's going up there. I might just gotta get it up there. Put it in place. Oh, and then I can use a ladder to tack it down. Get my big butt through here. I'm gonna have to take a break and just clear some stuff out of the way. It's getting ridiculous. Alright, see you in a minute. Of you who have not seen the previous videos there is no floor up here this is just deck joists i don't have the decking on yet so i've got a piece of plywood spread across stand on gotta get this over all the way all right. oh. I had to do that. Oh man. This don't look fun. Right, let me think of the best. I hate to bend over and pick that. But I need to just get it up here. Let me get on my knees. Not liking it. the 
stand. That's why I'm recording this. I knew it'd be a comedy show. Alright, I gotta get right up here. So I'm gonna move this board so I can stand at the edge. Super heavy, it's just awkward. I'm not bad at all. <laughs> Get it up here. Now the plywood's screwing me. Alright, balance. Whoa, miss it. Be a lot of road noise today that festival starts in a couple days so they're all piling in here so far no internet trouble and one more up here would have been easier to put the deck on first didn't happen all right now I gotta get over here, stand it up, and start moving it over. See the problem? <laughs> it's not all the way over. It's stuck on one of the on the piece of the flashing that's bowed up. There we went. Oh, you wasps! Don't be coming out of there. Boy, it's just. <clears throat> Alright, over here we're good. And if I fall through here, that tin is not going to stop me. I guarantee you. This is where you need two people. You need somebody on the ladder pushing this in. It's going to fit. I wanted it to be tight so we can just continue that rope. But this stuff's so swollen out, I can pull it off and it'll go right where it needs to be. I need to get a hammer. Can you get a hammer? 
guys hand me that hammer? It's right down there by you. guys got it up there i just had to pull that piece of trim that was on that fascia board off and it slid right in and this way the metal ropes will look like one so it's kind of curled under there but it'll be fine i'm gonna run a two by six across there and then run my uh roof joist through there and uh what else was i gonna say I'll fill this end in with something too. That's going to have on the other side. That's going to have T111 on it, or at least that's what I'm thinking right now. The nice thing about this design, okay, it's going to be an air conditioned room, yes. But if you'll notice, in old old homes, they all have high high ceilings, and the reason for that is the heat would all the heat rises, so all the heat's going to rise up here, and it's going to stay nice and cool down here plus it's going to give me a lot of room like a little mini loft up there to put things in so going that extra height uh just adds a lot of space so all right i'm going to start running joist get that i'm going to get this uh leveled out and, and uh fastened down and then i'm gonna get going on the floor or the uh, roof joist all right guys whoo did that did that up there kick my butt I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I got it up there once and I realized it was too high. I had to bring it down. Now it is perfectly level. It is where I need to be after I add. I'm gonna put OSB over these trusses. So to bring that up to the same height as that, that's what I had to do. You go knock it back down, put it back up. So now you get an idea of what's gonna happen. Joyce is coming from there to there. It's gonna be even with that. And, uh, that ought to look pretty good. All right. I was hoping to get this whole thing framed today, but it ain't looking like it's going to happen in one day. But we never know. I'm going to go eat lunch, come back, maybe knock out another four or five hours. All right. I'm hiding out under the picnic table because it's cool. Yeah. Well, I got some mistake 2 by 12s that's going to make some new seats for that, Tilly. You didn't eat your country stew, but you ate your bacon treats out of there. Yeah, if I could just get Rooster to quit barking at you. Now she's gonna eat her country stew. That's what's got the wormer in it. I use uh, Safeguard goat wormer on my dogs. That's uh, commonly used in a lot of shelters. Works good. All right. I came in and took a nap, man. Didn't get a lot done today, but you guys know. Hang on, I got a radio playing. Let me get up here. They're not playing a song. So we're good. Let's turn the volume down. All right. Here's what happened. Went up to put up the first joist. See, I got it clamped up there, ready to, ready to go up. Well, <laughs> I got some wasps up in there. Boy, I stuck my hand up there and they came out. And they weren't bothering me before. So I gotta get some moss spray, or what I'll probably do is come out here early in the morning and get those going. As long as I don't go towards that one, they don't bother me. I did get this wall, uh, Tyvek. Got the house wrap on it. First time I ever put that stuff on. It ain't too hard, but it's a little wrinkly. It'll work. So, hopefully, I've got, I've got to get this roof on. The next two days we got more rain coming so i want to you know i gotta put another piece there yet so and up there i have to uh run another piece of header or ledger or whatever you want to call it to put the uh it's going to have a little overhang on this wall on that side but that is going to match up right with that so it's going to look like one long continuous uh room and this is going to be lower here like i said and uh, probably about six foot high but it's going to be for the dogs and as long as I can get in there you know that's cool all right guys you know I do these every day so some days not a lot gets done but I'm going to go ahead and put out a video 
Uh, man, this yard is getting way out of my control. So I'm gonna have to take a day off the build and do a lot of weed eating because I can't keep up with everything. And this time of year, it's, and I got the garden, you know, we, I hadn't watered in two days. We had a really good rain. I set my finger in the soil. It's still moist, but I'm gonna go ahead and water them tonight. It's looking real good out there. And everybody seems to be getting along with the new dog. I'm, I'm not going to be hard her up or she, she don't leave the property I left today. She stays and she's coming around. So it's kind of good to have a dog, you know, she, she's afraid of the road. So I don't think she'll go down there. Will you tell you? You got your water right there, fresh water right there in the shade. But I will set her up with a nice, uh, Shade shelter and dog house. Yeah, she's a good girl, ain't she? You're gonna be on you gonna be on the camera a lot, so you better get used to it. Yeah. Listen, you little pecker head. You quit barking at her. She wants to go see her. In a couple days I'll let her let her go see her meat. Rooster's the one you gotta be weary of. Yeah, you you want to go meet Telly, don't you? Yeah, she wants to go meet Telly. Tell her all the stories you tell. They're pretty bad stories. Alright guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike. Hopefully get a better video up tomorrow. Happy trails. Welcome to Dogman Homestead. My name is Mike and we are out here not so early, probably close to nine. Uh, but you know, I gotta start plugging away at this. I started this project too late. I knew it was gonna be, you know, I didn't wanna come into summer with it, but it's here and it's gonna be hot from here on out to the next couple of months. So I gotta do what I can every day. Today, I wanna build this door. Get that on and get this top part, try to try to get to that to where I can get this uh, bug proof. What they're doing now, they're coming in and they're getting trapped in here and they're just clinging to the screen, uh, screen. so I need to get it fully enclosed uh, and do whatever I can. You know, I got a, I went to town yesterday, bought a nice fan, pretty good sized fan. So it'll help, you know, move around some air. That's the biggest thing. There's no, I mean, there's no breeze, nothing. So, but the heat's gonna be, it's here for a while and there's nothing I can do about it. Tomorrow, the insulation will be here for the dog apartment. So I should be able to, <laughs> yeah, they heard. I should be able to work in there in the air conditioning while I'm doing that. So we'll peck away at it a little bit at a time, see what we can get done. I've got my, let me turn you around here. I've got the tent set back up. Uh, no threat of rain I think till Sunday then we're gonna get a few days like 89 87 but <laughs> but anyway I need to get this door built the bottom will have t111 like down here and I need to make it in a way where you just can't you know if somebody wants in all I gotta do is bust through one of these screens but you know I'm not gonna keep it uh, anything valuable in here uh, can't worry about that just got to get this thing built so at least I've got some cover there. I've got to fix this uh, canopy. These things are just cheap, you know. What they're mostly made for is if you're gonna have a picnic or something, you can just set it up and then you gotta take it back down. They're not intended to leave up, especially here in Arkansas because they're no match for the weather here. So anyway, I'm gonna get started and uh, 
We'll let you know. If you can't think of a song, a good doody do. Always comes to hand. Let's put the door together. You know what? I'm gonna free drill this dude. You know, if you're building a door, you should sing the doors. Right here, in the door. All right.
I gotta get a better setup, guys. All right, I'm better now. Had to regroup. One, two, and three. Trying to get this first side on. The second side will go a lot easier. I hope. Got to make sure everything is lined up and good and straight on the door. My little square, I have not seen that thing. I sure could use it. I'll square it up when I get the other side on. Sometimes these these uh, impacts are too powerful. So I pre-drilled the holes even though it's treated. It's still split. on bracing it up. This is where the square has to be found. I do get the big one. Oh man my back hurts today. Alright guys. I got this thing in the wrong spot. I keep busting my head on it. Bottom, and we'll have the T111 on it. Alright, there's that square. Leaving that board in there, but to act as a threshold, you know. Uh, I think it would compromise the strength of this wall if I was to cut it out, and it's not necessary to cut it out. So, well, let's see. It's tight. Wow. Kick the bottom out. Wooden doors are always a bit of a challenge. Ah, the screen tight. Stick it out too that good for. Now this ain't going to cut it. Let's see here. I know the dimensions are exactly the same all the way down. So it's all the same. One of these got cut too big. Alright, let me see here. I don't want it that tight. Room at the top. Why is it sticking? Alright, pull her back out. Measure it again. Ow! Yeah, 
30 three quarters. See, I hit my head on that. 30 and, uh, 31 and three quarters. Is that what I have in my Yep, I'm an inch too big. Oh, my math was off. All right, let me pull it back apart. All right, pretty easy fix. What happened was these two, I needed all three of these to be 27 and three quarters, and somehow this one got cut at 28 and three quarters. So these two are right. But all I really got to do is take the top one off, cut an inch off, and put her back on. And that's why it was so tight in one spot. And Oh no. It happens. We'll cut an inch off. Put her back on. Do that screen. Y'all see that? Ruined it. Oh, maybe I should have stayed in bed today. Right, let's put this thing on the side. Darn, that was good and tight too. Probably too tight. Now, I'm going to turn y'all off so I get this thing back together. Just created more work for myself. Look at this. Put a hole in it. Yep, got to redo it. All right, we got one door. I got to put some hinges on it. I want it to open inward. I think, I don't know. I didn't want it outward. Uh, yeah, I want to open it outward. We don't have to have the hinges. Let me see. Yeah, have it open that way. And I've got enough gaps here. I'll deal. It's a screen door, you know, for a screen patio. So it don't have to be perfect. I match the bottom that it's going all the way around here. This will be screened. I'll probably screen it before I put the door on. I don't know. I think that would be easier than having a... Because it, it's going to be flimsy trying to do the spline. So I'll go ahead and screen it. And... I don't know. Then again, I gotta be on my hands and knees doing it. I don't wanna do that, so. I can brace it with something, screw a board to hold it, to keep it from pushing back. So I'll just go ahead and screen it while it's standing. But now I'll go ahead and put some hinges on it. And uh, come back and show you that we maybe move on to something else. With this fan, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, and that sun hasn't, it's quite, once it's over and gone, it should be a little better, I hope. But it's going to heat up to like 97 today. Wait a minute, it's going to bring that down. 
We want it tight, but not too tight. So, I've got to put the hinges on this. some handles, but I didn't buy any uh, latching stuff. I'll get a, I have that. It's in some bin somewhere in the shed or over the loft. I don't know. So, all right. Let me, uh, let me get this hinged up. I'm going to do it off camera because I want this fan blasting on. All right. The way I'm doing this, I took a 2x4, uh, 2x6 and the two shims that I used to fit the door. And I set them out there so that we got the same level. And then now I'm doing putting in the hinges. Make sure they're nice and flat. You have to have the door open. I can't get the screws in there. I never use the screws they provide with the uh, hinges. They're never long enough. Use an inch and a quarter section. Right. Three more in. See how she opens and closes. And I may have to do little adjustments. It's uh, looking dead on actually. chicken facilities at the ranch I worked at. So got pretty good at building doors. Alright, moment of truth. If we get lucky the first time we'll be cool. Alright, let's open it up. Reach that out. And I need to find a spring for it. And there we have her folks. It's a little uneven though. So I'll do some adjusting. Actually, it's even. It's a bigger gap than I wanted. Uh, that's fine. We'll figure something out. Uh, yeah, I didn't account for how tight the hinges are going to make it over here. But that's all right. We can open. Nice heavy-duty door. Stops right there where it needs to. Uh, I'll figure this out. And then it's going to have the screen tight, so we kind of do want a little bit of a gap. Good enough. It's a screen patio, man. Alright. Alright. I added like a half inch piece of cedar here. This lumber, that the last batch I got, it's like, didn't go through the sawmill right. And it's got a big ridge on the side. So I shaved that off. I'm going to have to get my plane or my sander out. It's catching a little right here where this bad ridge is. I shaved off some with a pocket knife, but... Once I sand that, this thing will shut nice. It's only catching right here. Right in there. And I can see, I can feel the ridge right in there. Uh, you can't get good lumber anymore, man. But they're getting top dollar for it. So, and I know I can make that work. So I'm going to go ahead and put the screen on now. And I'll rescreen that later. It's getting hot, man. Woo! Here's a good example of what I'm talking about. It's like they didn't have the saw blade cut or down deep enough. See that big ridge on there? Yep. Lousy lumber, man. So I'll have to get that cut before I even put the screen on. All right. All right. We doing a screen. Let me try to explain it. <laughs> I don't care who you say. Ah. 
I got a board stuck in there to hold this thing while I do the spline. Ah, right, there's our door. I can't get back far enough to get a better shot of it. Uh, you can put a handle on it. I was able to screw through this just fine. Uh, like I say, I'm going to plane that down. This thing will close perfectly when I'm done with it. And once we get this all painted and trimmed out, it's going to look good. So we got that accomplished today. I'm not going to get to this, I bet. I don't know. I may come out later. And I'm going to go take a break. Uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. Uh, hit the notifications. I'll try not to bother you at 2 in the morning, but I've done it. I have. All right, man. We're going to get out of here. Let's, uh, let's go peek in on the babies real quick. All right. Let's go see how they're enjoying their air conditioning. Waldo in the dark corner. How come, how come Lily's not in here? Come on, Lily. Who might be out there? Come on, you gonna come in? Yeah. Alright. People wanna see you enjoy it. Boy, it's cool in here. Yeah, you're not even patting on you, boy. Yeah. Lily, you gonna stay out? Yeah, it's hard for you to walk on this stuff. You need to get on your bed, girl. I don't know how to get on the bed. I think during the day, though, the concrete's nice and cool. They like to lay on it. Yeah. And tomorrow, I'm being here working with you guys, putting the installation up. The installation. Yeah. And it's going to get real cool. And then we're going to fix that door. I need to make it a little bigger. See Lily going through? I don't want them to have to punch through there like that, especially when they're getting older. So I'm going to raise that up a little higher. All right, guys. Happy trails. just had a monsoon and I wanted to show you guys remember when I said in one of my videos that this wall never gets wet and I'm standing under the one piece of metal I threw up here uh, but look at it. the ledger board is not wet none of that wall is wet I did go buy some flashing today and I also ordered some uh, membrane tape uh, to go up there too but like I said, man, you know, very rarely does this wall ever see moisture. But we're going to do it right. I'm going to get back on this in the morning if the weather cooperates. Uh, but this is a good, good sign. And man, I am ready to get this thing going. Now, it did get a little moisture down here. And we're going to fix that. Once it's enclosed, it won't get moist at all. It's probably from that slope. Now I gotta bust that out somehow and do something with it. But uh just wanted to show you guys real quick. And got everything covered real good. I per we probably got two or three inches of rain. It was coming down. And again, the wind was straight out of the north. I don't understand that. That that has only happened this year, but the garden's getting a good soaking. Yeah. 
I got some awesome smells out here from honeysuckle and all the wildflowers. So I can't wait to get this done and get out here and just sit out here. I'm gonna put my computer out here and everything. And I am gonna make a bigger overhang. I know some of you had suggested that. I do have extra metal. This will not go to waste. I will use this in the front. And I think, you know, I wanted to do the bird's mouth, but with the room up, I, it just, I couldn't do it. But I could attach a cool looking deal out there to put the tent on. We'll see what happens, man. Now I gotta get Libby out of that doghouse and get her in her kennel, and she's not gonna come out of there. All right, guys, finally got a break in the rain. I'm back at it. I pulled that piece of metal off. I'm gonna cut another one. I'm only gonna cut a foot off of it, so it has a good, I think about seven, eight inch overhang. Uh, I don't need to put any flashing in between the deck and the roof. I am gonna put a big piece attached to the wall and it'll come out about this far onto the joist. That'll divert divert any rain uh, off onto the metal. So uh, I've ordered some membrane tape and that'll seal off everything. I'm also gonna run it on the joist uh, as a barrier. Uh, had a rough start this morning. <laughs> I parked over here. Let me show you. Park over there so Libby can get under my truck and get shade. Well, I open the passenger door. Guess who jumps in there? Her. Would not come out. She'd snarl at me. I went to get her out. Yeah, you know you was a bad girl. You know you were. Oh, she is my, by far, most difficult dog. But ain't no way else going to want her. She's good most of the time, but she's very stubborn. All right, let's get going on this build, man. All right, let's throw this one up there. this clay that I dug out sticks to your shoe it don't come off man right, hopefully I got this one more square ah, I want that edge out that's the cut edge you should always carry metal like this so you don't kink it These poles screw me up. I'll have to notch it and put that membrane membrane uh, stuff flashing around it. Yeah, don't want to do that. I hate this grinder.
Bob Newhart. I gotta get this clay out of here, man. Get 10 pounds of clay on my boots. Eight inches. Exactly eight inches. That thing perfectly square and straight. Ready to be tapped down. This. Wouldn't you like to ride in my beautiful balloon? All right, sheet number two going up. Sheet number two. Ah, I knew I should have got that hammer off there. Get on out of there. Always something in my way. I need to get this mud on it. Two more. The well, next one needs. I have to figure out the next one. Yeah, and let me show you over here. I can't get in there, so I'm gonna have to get a piece of plywood go up top. I'll probably wait till I put the flashing on up there, and then put the last three screws in the roof there. Uh, but it's coming along. We'll have this thing roofed today. All right. All right, guys, the best way I've figured to do this is I'm going to put the full sheet up here before this pole, and I already marked. I'm going to notch this out 21 and a half inches and then slide it that way. And then I'm going to put another whole sheet there. Uh, otherwise, you know, I would have had to cut a whole sheet down the middle, patched it in. It would look terrible. I wouldn't have a lip on the other side. So we'll see how this works. It's the only way I can figure it's going to maintain that edge overhang all the way down and you ain't gonna see the it, it'll work let's go watch let me get this thing cut all right cut this square out right here when you use these grinders to cut metal these discs they don't last very long so you gotta get several of them i'm already on the third one but i've used it cut those Joyce hangers. Alright, let's do this.
Oh, this clay is horrible. My feet are about 30 pounds a piece. <sighs> now, if you was doing a roof you didn't want that was going to be seen, you probably wouldn't want to do this. It's a nice scratch it. This will not be seen. See what I'm dealing? Right there. And then the next sheet's going to cover all that. And I don't have to cut it. I'm going to have to put some blocking in. Help shore it up. Right there is where I want it. Right there. Alright, I'll finagle it in there. And that's what I'll do. These channels line up perfect. All right. All right, guys, I'll bring you in for a closer look. I blocked this part here where this is hanging. And I'll be able to put screws in that. It ain't going nowhere. And I'll show you what I did. I blocked it or where I notched this. Now I'm going to slide a whole piece over this. Covers that hole. I still got my overhang. Everything's lined up good. And uh, two more sheets. And like I said, I'm leaving this part off for now until uh, I get this wall framed up, which I'll be starting on here pretty soon. Don't know if I'll get to it today, but soon. All right, some of these dogs driving me nuts over there. It is very muddy and messy over here, guys. I mean, <laughs> look at my boots. Look at my ladders. And I'm going to have to hose this thing off when it's all said and done. All right. We had quite a bit of rain the last couple days. All right, I got two sheets left, and then I've got that piece. Uh, use that probably for that breezeway that I'm putting in the front. All right, all right, brought you guys up here. Uh, this is how much we got on. Here's what I did here. Rather than to have this whole sheet slid over a foot and a half to cover this gap, just took a piece of that scrap because this roof is not going to be seen anyway because uh, they're going to be a like a hardware cloth mesh here i'll paint it black uh, to keep the birds out uh, i might even use the screen i've got a hundred foot of that screen but yeah just put a patch in it's shingled so water's going to flow down down i might even throw a little caulk in there but uh you know why waste this whole sheet 
another whole sheet coming way over here so but it's coming and a lot of this i'm gonna have to screw in from up here i'm gonna have to put some boards down and reach over and screw it in i'll just have to measure where the studs are uh, i should be able to, able to measure from the ones i was able to get in all right i got one more sheet to throw on and we're calling this part good for the time being guys it's starting to rain i've got to get everything buttoned up here it's why it's hard to build this time of year you know and all this week we're gonna have 40 percent chance afternoon showers they come on they come and they go but i'm i've got the roof on except for that end piece we're waiting for the wall so but i can it's raining now i ain't getting wet now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you would subscribe uh we've got a lot more videos coming of this build and then we're going to build a storage building down here on the end i'll show you there's another slab there that's also going to be the puppy dog getting out of the heat room but i'm going to have it for canned goods things like that climate controlled sort of all right guys i've got to get some things covered uh give me a like give me another like happy trails Dogman Homestead. Uh, today's focus is up here. I've got these open spots on the gable and I'm going to frame those in. I went and picked up some uh, two by fours. I picked up some more T111. They didn't have the same kind of T111. Instead of the four inch, they had the eight inch. So it's not going to be the same, but once it's painted, you know, uh, the T111 police aren't showing up here anytime soon. So if they do, no biggie. You ain't gonna be able to tell. It saved me a trip to Oklahoma. Uh, I'm not driving 130 miles to pick up three sheets of that. So I got everything local. And today I should be getting my uh, pecs. I should be getting all my fittings for my uh, washer and dryer. Yeah, my washing machine, that gadget you stick on the wall where it drains out of and the water connects to. Uh, I ordered two rolls of 100 foot PEX. That actually came with the PEX tool and wasn't hardly any more than just mine the PEX. So I took took advantage of that and bought that set up. And I got the doorknobs coming for the door. Uh, so we're gonna get this closed in today and get these dogs in here before the end of this video. So stick to the end of this video and I will film the dogs first time coming in here. All right, let's get busy, man. It's hot, it's dang hot. All right, I got it framed in. Uh, let's see, that ladder. All these nets, terrible. I believe the ladder's gonna be in my way, but I'll do a shimmy bop and get it in there. Get 
up there. Thank you. I'm gonna reach it once I get there. Get a shorter ladder, but I don't got a shorter ladder. Try to pull it out some. Yeah. Hey. Name of Sanjay Gupta. <sighs> My precision cut was good. It all fit right in there. Yeah, not exactly. Doesn't line up with that. Okay, shave a little off here. Actually, too long. Long up there. Well, it's not going to line up because this is eight inch. But man, how this gap come about? It's going to have trim all the way around this thing. It's still more than I'd like. Eh, I'm gonna stick it. We'll see. That I don't like, but I don't have a choice in that. That's all they have. All they had, man. I'll make it look good. Yesterday was nice. Today, oh man! Not. easy on the ankles having a ladder like this. Alright. Now the piece that I cut off should fit here, but is it long enough? That's the question. 33 and a half. All right, we got that one uh, covered. Now I'm working on this. Uh, I can't do it from the outside. I can. There's no way I can get a ladder in there. So what I'm doing, doing here, I built this frame. I'll put that up there. Let's see if I can get out here a little bit. I'm gonna put that out there and uh, put that out there. Put it up there. Then I got something to attach the T111 to. And it'll be on the inside. And, I'll worry about that other side later, but I can't get up there with what I got, so. All right. All right, I gotta hoist this up there. This ladder is the best, I mean, it's too high. I put it up there and then I, 
the ladder's in the way. So, let me see. The best way to do this. It's pretty heavy. couple of those so they would fit where they'd be straight up and down level and we're just gonna cut some T111 get it on there clean this place up and I'm gonna put the doorknob on I got the old UPS just came so I got them oh man I just turned this thing on the problem is I'm running a whoo, I'm running a saw uh, air compressor and when those kick on with this that's I think that's only it might be a 30 amp breaker I'll have to load but if it's a 20 it'll blow it so I'm turning this off when uh, I use the saw but I'm done with that for a while oh this thing is so cold all right let's go get some t111 cut cut and get that dude up there actually got to do it in two pieces because it comes in four foot wide just the way that it runs so let me get that done and I can focus on getting this doorknob on and getting them out of here, getting them in here. Because it's hot. All right, the locks came. I'm not even going to finish that P111. I got the big piece on. It is so hot, I just want to get these dogs in here. So we're going to put the door locks on. These kind of packages, they make me want to run around the yard screaming like Daffy Duck. Oh my God, I hate modern times. This crap. I'm in a bad mood now because of this package. Trying to get in here. Uh. What in the name of Mr. Mugoo? Man, what is this? Okay. Now I gotta read the instructions now? No. Doing it. I ain't doing it. I know what I need. What the hell is this thing? Oh. Alright, you'll 
seen people put a doorknob on. Alright, I got the doorknob and the deadbolt on. Let's see if it'll shut. I haven't tried it yet. It never it never goes right the first time. Well, I'll be dipped. I need to be loosened a little. Works good. Alright, I'm gonna go cut a hole. Get some puppy dogs some cold, cold temperatures. All right, I just put their beds together. It's a little loud in here with the air, AC and the fan, but I ain't turning it off. Look how big those beds are. That's like they each got a king size bed. Boy, they can waller around. So now I'm fixing to mark out the hole. Get it mostly cut out, go around there, rig the fence. And we're gonna see some happy puppies. And yes, this really does need insulated. It's, it's a lot cooler, but it could be a lot better. All right, man. I'm gonna get busy. I know this isn't gonna be a long video like yesterday's, but this video's got the goods in it. You'll see in a bit. Here comes somebody. Look at your apartment. Look at your beds. Look at your beds. <laughs> yeah, boy, they're excited. Let me put the fan on. Look at your beds. Don't pee on nothing, Waldo. Yeah. What do you think? It's too hot out there. Let's see. 
Justice Department. <laughs> All right, guys. Success. They like it, I think. Whew, I'm going in. Get this thing up while it can't be more than 10 minutes long from the little bit of footage I had. And I'll get a mat on there and all that. For now, I just want to get them in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I appreciate it. If you subscribe, give me a like, give me an unlike, hit the notifications. And uh, thanks for watching Dog Man Homestead, the dog apartment. Happy trails. Look at them. They ain't figured the beds out yet, but I bet they will. Settle down. You're in here to cool down and get not get worked up, boy. What do you think, Lily? Dogs, they always got to look towards the exit. You know, in case something needs work that uh, barked at. I guess they will lay on that rocky old concrete. It's probably nice and cool to them. All right, guys. We got the one piece up. Man, I still got that little piece, but man, it was so hot. And next week, we're going to be right up there with 100 degrees. So, I wanted them in. All this interior work can be done later. I think what I'll do now, button this up a little more and start working on the screen on the porch. I had to come back. Happy trails for real this time. Good morning, Miss Tilly Tillerson. That's a silly spot you're sitting in. Did you eat your chicken strips? Yeah. Let me tell you about the rules around here. Every morning, treats get passed out first thing. Then about 10 o'clock, more treats. And then about 1 o'clock, more treats. And then about 3 o'clock, more treats. And dinner's at 5. And you've already figured out the dinner time. You know? I set you up a doghouse over there. Is that where you slept last night? Ooh, I got a bug. All right, Tilly, I'm gonna go check out, see what I gotta do today. You gonna hang out? You know, is that tree stump comfortable? Doesn't look like it. What's with you? You haven't ate your morning milk bones. You just wanna lay around all day. You don't even wanna go out no more. How come? What are we gonna do with you? Uh, Tilly's out there. Yeah, she's sitting by the tree stump. Don't know why, but it seems like the place to be. Get your milk pumps. You have to break them in three pieces. They're more fun for her that way. Otherwise, she'll bury them or put them in my pillow or something. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Dogman Homestead. It is Friday, June 3rd, and I'm out early. It's supposed to be 70s today, so I'm going to get to framing this dog apartment, storage building, whatever I want to do with it. Uh, I did order them a couple of beds, you know, that'll fit those dogs nice. One on each side. They'll have their own bedrooms, of course. I don't have the doggy door yet. I'm kind of shopping around for those, see what I need. But we're gonna get this thing going. I wanna make a lot of progress today. I see you. I've got a helper, Miss Tilly. She claims to be a plumber. I don't need any plumbing done right now, but uh, she said she's a master at it, so we'll see. I don't know, you know how dogs are. They always tell fibs, tall stories. All right, man, let's get busy.
hey oh that wall <laughs> that wall's down on the other foundation well that ain't gonna work anyway it don't matter this still needs to be eight foot high because remember i'm putting another wall up there so we're good we're good it all worked out all right had me going there for a minute <laughs> Now, I bought a hammer drill to drill through this concrete, bought a Harbor Freight, Bauer, and it, it got three screws on this wall and then it quit. So, I don't know if the battery went out, I'll have to try it again. I do know this is very hard stuff, so we're going to get this wall tacked into place. And, uh, I don't know if that's, that doesn't look right, but it can't be no other way. Oh, I'm trying to work with this crappy foundation is something else. I mean. Get up there. Whoever poured this, oh my god, it was the worst job I've ever seen. Like they just took big huge rocks and threw it in some cement and just poured it. And they didn't level it or nothing. Unreal. And you got heartburn, indigestion, no such stomach, diarrhea. I just heard that commercial on the radio. Uh, it sticks in your head, man. It's kind of like the song, Hey Mickey. Hey Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine. Hey Mickey. Hey Mickey. Don't break it. Get out of there. I've wasted about an hour trying to figure out things and you know I, I don't want to waste any room if I don't have to but up here in the front I might have to cut off about two feet just so on level there's nothing I can do unless I want to go through the expense of building a floor and I don't
don't like getting my fingers near this thing. Right, last one and we'll go throw the top on. Then I'll show you where this wall is going. Nail gun, you ain't helping me here. Ah, this thing. God, why does it do this? I went ahead and tacked that wall in got it level square uh, man I just drove that nail gun right into the concrete it went right in there so I don't have to worry about that hammer drill and the screws and all that I'll get it all shored up later and I got this little short wall in like I said this is a weird build because I'm using foundations that were already here they're both different so I had to put on that little short wall now I'm going to come down the same length I got this one. And I ain't going to say any more than that. Y'all see what it does when it when it's done. And uh, I, can go, I can go ahead and fit in there. No problem. If I got through 16 inch uh, rafters, <laughs> I can get through that. That's 24 inches. So there's plenty of room in there to work. I got to take these brackets off here and do some work on the face of the house here. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's get going. I had the radio on on that last clip, so I couldn't use it. Uh, what I was going to say is I'm trying to put this wall up, and these gnats are flying in my nose and my mouth and my eyes. All right, so now i got to get this wall where it needs to be. And then we're going to start on this, put this one up here and put some of the uh, roof joists on. Uh, it's not too bad out here right now. It's about 75, so going pretty good uh, I know it looks weird right now you'll see in the end promise you that I am not no master carpenter by any means especially a framer but I'm just I'm gonna make it work all right let me get this wall where it needs to be 
Alright, cut my header board that goes across the two walls. Uh, you'll see in a minute. I'm not sure how the hell I'm gonna get it up there, but I'll just use clamps. <laughs> And that's a, I don't have room in here to cut this. This is a 14 footer or 16 footer or something. Let's just cut it with this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Show you what I'm doing. That is going to stretch from the corner of that wall to the corner of that wall, and that's where the roof will stretch to. It's going to drop. The roof's going to. Let me show you. See the see how the house roof's going there. It's going to be just with that to the end of that wall. And then I'm coming here, building a foot lower wall. And same thing, that's coming to about here. I, I thought it would be ugly to just do a, one great big long one. Uh, this way, uh, I don't have to pull this fence up. It'll actually end a little before this concrete. So everything goes the way it is in my head, we'll be good. And I got this, when you don't really have a good reference point for squaring things, you know, it's pretty tough, but I'll get it all squared up. Because you find out when you go to put the T111 on if you're good or not. And I don't want that to happen, so let me get that header up there and uh, we'll get on, going on the rest of it. I'm probably going to stop, I'm not going to build this uh, short wall yet. I'll get this roof section up, that way I'm not fighting other walls, all right. this header board up it was a little bit of a fight but i won I always do so i'm gonna go in now and eat a little bit of lunch Ooh, i made a good pasta mm. you ain't gonna get to see that i'll come back and we're gonna start we're gonna put that ball up there and we're gonna start putting the roof joists on and that'll strengthen this thing up really good because there's nothing really to support it yet but uh, once this smaller wall is on, I get everything tied together. T111 on here, it's going to be strong. I don't want my dogs coming in here if it ain't strong. If it, if it ain't as strong as my house, then they're not coming in it. So. Going up top. Board off the wall. 
Look at that phone. Thank God I got rid of all them wasps. bring a hammer, did you, Mike? No. Well, you got a sawzall. Sawzalls will cut through nails. That piece of trim off. This is all in bad shape. When I get this deck on, I've got to replace all this. It's all rotted. You know, it looks terrible. Along with you. plan is I'm gonna come up it's basically about two feet okay it's gonna run underneath here well, I'm probably gonna go all the way to the house uh, put flashing not that it'll ever see water there but you know that's what you got to do run it down to the end of the wall I'm totally looking at it wrong it needs to be up here alongside of this Man, I've been thinking wrong all along. But that needs to go anyway. Uh, so it's basically going to run even with this. I probably might try to... Uh, it doesn't have to connect with this. But yeah, it kind of does because this little utility room, whatever I created there, is uh, needs to be covered so we don't get water flowing in this way. Uh, Looks pretty darn square from up here. Yep. Might be a little. Well, once everything's on and braced, I'll get it all squared up. So. All right, see you on the floor. Now I gotta pick these tools up. And balance my way back inside. Ooh, that took it 
I just turn away for one minute and look here. Your two friends, yeah, they're tailgating, ain't you? Yeah. What you think, Tilly? You gonna learn from her? That ain't she ain't nobody to learn from. I can tell you that. She's goofy as they come. We're in trouble now, folks. I'm glad Libby has somebody by to play with and stuff. She's got a friend. Well, guys, I'm going to have to end this build here. I'm out of two by fours. I got a few left. I got to go to a uh, lumber store tomorrow and get some. And then I was going to, so I was going to put the house wrap on. I found my stapler. I can't find those staples. And I don't even know if I had any. So I'm going to have to get some staples so I can put that on. I'm going to sit out here a little bit, figure out what I need. I think I have enough metal roofing, but I may need another sheet or two, but I, I don't know. So I need to do some measurements, figure out how many 2x4s I need. I don't want to buy too many. Of course, she can always use them. So anyway, uh, I wanted to get a little further along today, but we did get the two walls up with the header across and this little short wall. And it's going to be a little tricky doing the roof with that little joint there and all that, but I'll figure that out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike. Happy trails. And just like that, they went from barely walking to running around. Look at them. Look here, you guys. I bought you these new bowls, and you don't tip them. Come here, you. <laughs> Look at the little run. Why don't you guys leave mom alone? Come here. That don't work with puppies, does it? Mama, that's their food. Yeah, I was looking at bowls for them, and then I found these little temporary bowls. Get out of that. That's not yours. That's for the babies. Come here, babies. You go eat yours. Yeah, there goes Oreo. No, Millie, if you eat that, no. No, Millie. That's for the babies. You, you got your bowl of food. She don't understand. So I'm going to have to do this without Millie in here. Come here, babies. Yeah, you can come eat. I'm gonna start feeding you outside. No, you go go you go to your bowl, Millie. Millie, you can't eat that up like a hog. No, Millie, no. Come here, come here, here, here. Here's your bowl. Come here, Millie. Come here, Millie. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Well, I was trying to fill their bellies, and you're gonna eat it up, Millie. Can't have that. Look at that little booger. Where are you going, Toast? Millie, you're, going to, you're not in competition here. I feed you plenty. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to put a slide down on that. So when she's outside, I can keep her out and feed these babies. Because this is going to happen. She don't care. Look at this one. They're going to town today. Uh, chaos. It's utter chaos, I tell you. 
How do I get into this? Millie, now that's enough. No, get out of that. You let them babies eat. Get out of that. You go out over there to your bowl. Let them babies eat that. They slept all morning. Now they woke up all of a sudden. They could run and jump. Point Oreo. There we go. Put down there with him. Millie. You can't eat your baby's food or they're always they're never gonna leave you. Now they're gonna pester you. So you need to learn a lesson. I got more of that food. But you're gonna get locked out next time. Yeah, you're gonna get locked out next time. Look at the babies in there on her food. <laughs> That little baby's trying to get your food. That's the boy. They're more than ready. Oh, now they're curious about me. Uh, let's get a chair. See if you guys can come to me. Alright. You want to see what it looks like in the bed. In your little bed. What are little rompers doing? Mama. You shouldn't eat all their supper. Come here. Where are you guys going? No, I got that blocked off. Oh, I had it blocked off. You're not allowed back in there. That's my shoe. You gonna go for my shoelace? Mama! Get out of that chat. I just give you a huge amount of food. You leave them babies alone. I guess love only goes so far with dogs. chasing the camera. Oh, now they discovered me. Look at these punks. I tried to feed you guys. You guys want to drink some water? Let's see if you can drink some water. Okay, Oreo. It's hard to walk amongst these old buggers. Let's get you guys some water in here. See if mama don't. Yeah, let's get a little water in there. Now you're gonna float in it. You're gonna drink it up. Well, that didn't work out. Obviously, I'm no good at puppyhood. Right, mama's trying to coax them to go inside. What a mess this is gonna be. Oh my God, there's going to be poop and pee everywhere. Millie, you're a big old lanky, clumsy girl. Where are you going? They just woke up full of it. Look at Toast over there. What are you doing, little Toast? I held her up in front of the heater, boy. She just loved it. Man, they don't want to come out. They're not ready to go out. You gonna take them in there? They're not gonna go to sleep. They're not gonna go to sleep because they've been sleeping all morning. Toast is looking for some butter. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you guys doing in there? Toast. Here comes the boy. The boy's got the white paws. No, well, she does too. Yeah, that's what I help you with. You found my shoelaces. Do I hear somebody behind there? You guys are everywhere. Good thing there's only six of you and not like twelve. We going outside now. We have one one venture. Uh, no, Tilly and Libby, they're all waiting. Well, if we're gonna go out, let me open the door. Come on, there's some good sunbeams out here that you guys might like. Ooh, I better pick up that piece of screw. Man, 
I didn't design this to be a puppy nursery. So there are some things around. Alright, guys, you coming out? You might as well let them come out, uh, Millie, and get wore out. Come on, they're kind of afraid. Once they're out here, it's on. That's good. I want them. I want them to know they can come out. Come on out. Oh, piece of an ink pen. Better pick that up. Come on, guys. Come on. Billy's waiting. She sees the babies. Look at you. Libby's waiting. Brewster's waiting. Were you guys coming out or what? The boys coming. We got an Oreo, little toast, and whatever name that one is out here. And it's pretty warm right there and they're loving it. What are you guys doing? Shouldn't be anywhere they can get out. There's a while back it was. I got that covered up. They're not going to be out here when they're this size without me watching. What are you doing by my feet? You guys like to clean by my feet? More tails. This is where we poop, and this is where we pee. Toast, you want to go back in? All oh, the other, the others are coming. They see that you're out here having a humdinger all the time. Come on, let's just set this camera down and see what they do with it. No, I can't do that. Who done toast? What are you guys doing? Well, where'd Tilly go? She get bored. Where you at, Tilly? The babies are out. Look at these little buggers in here. I turn my head for five minutes. And you guys are tearing up everything. Ah, what do you do? What do you? What do you think to accomplish with that towel? I want you guys going through there. Yeah. What, the, what was that in puppy language? Come on! Come on! You get them used to being out here. Come on, guys! You're so small, you can probably fit the other thing. Unfortunately, they don't go very fast yet. <laughs> I remember why I got out of the dog rescue business. Because I couldn't no longer bend over to mess with you puppies. Yeah, hurts my back. Here's a little toast. Anybody's interested in toast? Got a good piece of toast right here. This is dangerous. Look at you. You think my shoes are your brothers and sisters? And then you look at my jeans, huh? Humans are supposed to lick toast, not toast lick humans. I'm not getting attached to you guys, alright? So that's not happening. Here we go. Let's see what these little delinquents are doing in here. Well, you guys, you guys are the delinquent ones. Come on. My pick would be if I was going to keep one of these, of course it'd probably be toast, because the runts are always the, they're always the fun ones. But this one, she's like the alpha. A lot of them, even the boy. Poor the she's gonna be a good she just follow me everywhere. <laughs> I gotta go check on your sisters in there. What are you doing? Chewing on my pants? Why don't you go see Aunt Tilly? She knows your dad. Aunt Tilly knows who your dad is. Millie no, does too, but she's not talking. I'm gonna slap the child support support check on them. Yeah, I'll go see them right now if they look, bud. You gonna have to pay up. You got six youngins. Child support. Shouldn't expect me to put the bill, should they tell it? 
All right, I hear ruckus going on in here. What in the name is going on in here? What are you two doing? All I hear is cracking noises. You're only so big. Ah. Sorry guys if the shadow is getting in the way. This is a weird side of the house. The sun's on the other side of it. I'm trying to wear these little guys out so they'll go back to bed. These two, the long, these three, the longer they're out, they're just spoiler. I can't get over how the fast they're moving today and what they was moving yesterday. Come on out. Okay. You're, you're climbing through the puppy dog hole. Look at first you're barking at. That little girl hangs around me, toast. Be none of them straight dogs coming over here. I'm tired of all that. You guys are head loving this, ain't you? If uh, one of them gets close to her, she just growls at them. Yeah, she's a feisty one. She's a survivor. Tell them, tell them, tell them. These little tails, a little butt shaking. Yeah. Oreo. That one's gonna be, she's gonna chew everything up. Yeah, you want up? You trying to get up here? Guys, I'm not going for video excellence here. I'm just shooting them as they, I'm trying to document every, the firsts of everything. Toast! I can't walk with you. And this is basically, it's not their first day out, but it's their first day out of like this. Uh, I can't hold you all. You gonna come here and help babysit Telly? Huh? Well, mama. She says, I'm glad he's out here. But I need a break. Right. There's a lot of, a lot of puppies to watch. I'm gonna have four, five, six. What, Toast? You can't be the whiner. Miss Toast. She was crying until I picked her up. You want to do an interview? You got your own YouTube channel? No? Who would you like to tell any prospective families that might want you on their homestead? I'm very cool. I won't chew nothing up. I'm just a good girl. My name's Toast. Toast Faye. That's my middle name. And I got I got one brother and four sisters. That crap ain't gonna work with me, Toast. It ain't gonna work. I don't need, I don't need any more babies. I don't. Look at her. It's not gonna work. It's just not. You, are you a lap dog? Is that as big as you're gonna get? Would you just look at these guys? What are you barking at the houses for? What are you barking at, Libby? Yeah, that act ain't gonna work on me. I am not keeping you. We understood, Miss Toast. Yeah, the little squeaks don't work either. No, you're going to another home and that's all there is to it. Look at that, it's like they know they were born in that. You guys don't remember that. She just loves being held. I put her down, she cries. She follows me everywhere. What did I start? Look at you. 
She's, are you purring? You're not a cat. You're not a kitten. Why are you purring? You guys do a lot of squeaking. Alright, let's get I'm gonna round you guys up. Follow the Pied Piper. Follow Dog Man. Follow Dog Man. Did you you got enough supper? Come on guys. Let me see if I can get him to follow me. Come on guys. Class has adjourned. Come on, Oreo. Come on, Oreo. Millie, help me lead them in. No, I don't want you guys messing with that. Ah, I'm going to have to construct some sort of gate to keep them something she can come in. Here they come. You are just content, aren't you, with being held? You're not walking as good as the others. Well, you are, but you're just not as tall. There you have it, man. They're going to be running me ragged. Man, I forgot how puppies were. Never really had any of my own, but the ones at the rescue, I took care of a lot of them at the rescue. I mean, they came in like crazy this time of year, but I could go home. Not now, I am home. But we'll get through it. They're really healthy. They're going to be good pups. Uh... <laughs> Just thought I'd put a video up just of the puppies since they're outside, so y'all have fun, happy trails. pillow wherever Millie goes that pillow goes and you go it's 14 degrees guys help, help. yeah it's 14 no it's not in you're not in Tampa Bay you tell so many lies <sighs> let's see what we got over here help. Well, they don't eat out of this one like they do the other ones. All right, let me put you guys down so I can fill this. All right. And all them little goomers are in them bushes in there. Just waiting for me to walk away so they can get them a drink. I'll tell you. All right, let's go in the back. I already filled those, but... I'll just give that to the chickens. Lily, you want some scratch? You guys don't want some scratch? Okay. Oh, it is a balmy 14 degrees right now. Yeah. One more day of this stuff. Why ain't you over there with uh, Melly? Because I'm out. All right. My most popular bird feeder is in the back there. And this one they drain in about a day. You can see them all floating around out there. There's also one behind the chicken coop. Whew, need to get a few more. This ground gets solid, they don't eat. Yes, I know birds will survive. I like to feed them. And this one uh, gets drained very quickly. So what I like to do if I got any left like that, we'll just spread it out, make it a little easier for them. 
Yeah, a bunch of cardinals this year. Well, I got cardinals year round here, but yeah, let's step back here a little bit and watch them. Where'd you go, Tilly? All right, I'm gonna tell you guys a story while we watch the birds. Oh, cows are eating out there. All right. I have the entire story on Millie. Just to show you that I'm here, I'm here. Uh, Tilly, dogs don't eat bird seed. Tilly, apparently she does. Uh, who, who, who knew? So anyway, Tilly, or Millie, the guy that found, no, first let me tell you how uh, Millie was found. I put collars on my dogs with my phone number on it. And <laughs> Millie, being the way she is, it strays away from people. It probably took them a while. You get, you know, the, but I don't think she was there longer than a week. And where she ended up was where she was born. Yep. He's a hunter. And that was a dog he had. He said he has papers on her. Those mean nothing to me. I said, I don't care about paper. She's just a dog. Uh, they have dog shows and stuff for these hunting dogs down here. I could care less about that. Uh, so anyway, uh, he gives the dog, not this next trailer, but there's a, like a shed the house down the road uh, on the other side of this one between me and Jeff. So he gave he gave the dog to that guy. That guy just sold his place and moved and left her. Didn't you know, just left her. So that's how she ended up at Jeff's a couple of years ago. And then you know, about a year later, she showed up here, dumped a load of puppies on me, and the rest is history. So she went from the original place to that guy over in there and well she's back here now she's been good she hasn't run off she doesn't leave there she's happy to be with Tilly and they're doing good and she better do good because I ain't building a fence guys I don't care you guys can comment that all you want I'm not building another fence I never asked for Tilly I never asked for Millie but I'm taking care of them but they are very, very smart when it comes to the road. Most of these dogs around here are. It's usually the puppies that get hit. Uh, you know, that's that's a 55 mile an hour road, but it isn't that busy. And they actually hear me long before I get here because they recognize the sound of your vehicle. And they're waiting. And we'll go visit with Miss Melly. Millie has discovered the heated doghouse. Now they're both crammed in there at night, which is what I want. Ooh, it's probably ice cold already. My coffee over here. Let's get it. Mmm. All right. Let this car pass. What are you doing, Millie Moo? I need another drink of that. Ah. But uh, apparently I did a good job with getting her used to people and trusting people. Because she's not scared anymore. Why do you got to drag that pillow out everywhere you go? Yeah, I put fresh straw out for you. And that's why you're out here, huh? Do you know how happy Telly is that you're back? She was lonely. She was lonely. Why didn't you tell her? No. Listen, boy. The lies you tell, you're going to pay for that one day. Oh, where's Telly? There's Telly. 
But guys, without giving my number away, this is what I put on all on these two. Okay, they all have them, uh, but I don't keep them on them guys. They're in a the yard. I don't keep one on Rooster, uh, but she has one as well. We go to the vet. That goes on. I'll tell you, or Millie. And that brass tag on the side there is the reason that Millie's back here now. Because the guy called my number. What are we barking at? But you're, you're home now. Two and a half months you were gone. Two and a half months. I'll tell you. Yep, and that's the story of Melly. You don't put your nose. Come on, girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I scared you, didn't I? Yeah. Get it. Oh. Oh. Give me that pillow. Here, Melly. Oh. Isn't that goofy? That better not have all that feathers or stuff in it. That would be a mess. They don't tear stuff up, but they like to flop it around. Let's go let's go see your bone collection, Melly. No, you don't go after that stray dog. Come on, Melly. Let's go see your bone collection. Come on. I kept her bone collection. I just couldn't get rid of it. Come on, Melly. You're like, who has a bone collection? Melly. Check my light. Check my light. Oh, yeah, she's on. Come on. Come on. They don't listen the best. I don't know where the bone collection is. I threw it over here, but it's gone. <laughs> That must be because Melly's home. Where the heck? They might have picked it up. Look at all that garbage over there. Huh. Oh well. She'll get more, trust me. Oh. I don't want that laying around. I've been picking up glass for 10 years here. It just keeps surfacing. And the trailer's gone, if you guys haven't noticed. Drew come and got that. I think I filmed that, I don't remember. Aren't you guys cold? You're not cold? Well, I am. I'm going to go in, okay? I'm going to go in. That's a piece of glass. You could have stepped on that. You're not getting it. If I have something, they want it. Doesn't matter what it is. They want it. Alright. Get back, you guns. Oh my god, it's hot in here. Woo! Let's turn your electric heater off. You don't need that. I went to town yesterday and got some more propane, just in case. You can't have too much propane, can you, boy? Lily. It's like a sauna in here. Well, I got some bad news. Your new bucket. Actually, it's not your new bucket. It's Millie and Tilly's new bucket. Hasn't arrived. Post office don't know where it's at. Because post office is bringing all Amazon orders now. And they don't know where it is. Because you were going to get their old bucket. Because you don't need heated water. You got that old well water stain bowl there. It's stained, but it's clean. I wash it out every day. So, yeah, now anything I order from Amazon comes with the post office. They usually do a good job, but they've lost several things, or it's, it takes a week or two to get here. I don't like that, because I needed that bowl. I also ordered a filter for the propane for this, and it's delayed. But I'm giving them a break because of the weather. Uh, some of these things are coming from the east where they've had bad weather. So, I'm cool with it. I mean, it's, it's not a, you know, an emergency. All right, guys. We're going to end the video. Waldo. All of a sudden now, he's got a fetish where he's chewing up this cardboard that I laid down here. And the reason this cardboard's down here is because this floor is awful. 
it's uh, got rocks in the concrete and it's rough so I put this down so they didn't have that hurting their paws and but he's eating it up now I don't know why you're doing it. I never know what you're doing in some of the things see he's chewing into it and Lily always behaves I never have no trouble with Lily it's always you or Tilly you or Tilly or Rooster yeah uh, Rooster wants in and out in and out in and out she doesn't know what to do at least you do I don't have to let you out you got your own doggy door boy is it warm in here Woo. That plastic I put up has helped tremendously. It'll probably, I'll take it down in the uh, winter or summer so the warm air can rise up. All right, guys, I'm going to go in now. It's cold, but it's not cold in here. Willie, let me fix your blanket. You're not in your right bed. That's Waldo's bed. Go over to your bed. There you go. They, they have their assigned beds. She gets mad when Waldo gets in her bed. Get in your bed. That boy ain't right. They like when I come in and visit them. Which is several, many, many times a day, huh? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want. If you don't, I don't care. Happy trails. I got chicken strips. Dude. <laughs> That's where they like to sit. Would well, you want it? You got a heated doghouse so you don't have to sit out in the sun. Good girl. Tilly. Oh, now these two are out. Now they see, and I got to get them one too. Dogs are like kids. You can't give a treat to one kid. Because all the rest of them's going to want it. Did you want a chicken strip? You're going to make me walk over there, really? They, they like sitting by these trees when the sun comes up, even though it's cold. But it doesn't. I'm out here with no coat. It doesn't feel bad. Especially if you're in the sun. So now we know the whole history of Millie. And he did tell me that she is five five years old uh, he gave her away to that guy I think when she was two which makes sense so now you guys know the rest of the story oh my god we're gonna have to shut the whole town down there's still snow <sighs> and of course you cannot give the outside dogs a treat without this one knowing about it rooster was that good you got a bacon treat they all got chicken strips because you had a chicken strip earlier and then we'll have burgers later yeah why are you like you're, you're you're licking your bed does it have bacon strip? <laughs> oh they're so goofy rooster was that good